Buongiorno, Edge 9 è negli Stati Uniti per HP Amplify 2025. HP Amplify 2025 è l'evento di HP durante il quale vengono annunciate le ultime novità in ambito PC, stampanti e workstation, sia in ambito consumer che in ambito business. In più questo è l'evento dedicato ai partner e quindi sono qui presenti i distributori eh, e gli altri partner che fanno parte dell'ecosistema HP come Microsoft, Qualcomm, Intel e AMD. Noi siamo adesso allo Showcase dove vengono presentati i vari prodotti e le varie soluzioni. Uh, several new models have been announced. The main theme of all the announcements is how AI is more and more integrated into the notebooks. Yes. And uh, can you give us a brief overview of the latest models and what's changing? Yes. So we're launching Omnibooks 3, 5, 7 and X, all, all with next-gen AI PC options with options with uh, Lunar Lake and AMD Kraken. All of these devices you'll see have some great battery life. We have some OLED options down the stack, some really exciting things to you see. And in particular, the uh, new X mm -hmm. is like the, the spotlight of the show somehow. Can you go a little bit more in depth in uh, what's new and um, how you position the product? Yeah, so there's a 16-inch version of the X Flip and there's a 14-inch version as well. Both of them come in either Intel Lunar Lake or AMD Kraken. Um, they have beautiful 3K OLED screens, um, so they're great for creators. They're super powerful AI devices and I'm I'm excited if people get their hands on them. And all of these products have an, an MPU inside, which is almost now taken for granted, but is an essential element to allow AI to run locally, right? Yes, yes. And, they're, and they're very powerful MPUs. On the X flips that you see back here, they're either 47 tops or 50 tops respectively, based on which uh, CPUs in them. So. And also there are some, not only hardware innovations, but also in terms of software and services that you find inside. One is this new AI companion that uh, follows you and uh, guides you through to do it. What, what is its purpose and um, what, do you, what is its potential? Yeah, so AI companion, we've, we've had it for a few months now and now we're launching it and it has on-device on support now as well. So it was all cloud-based, now it's on-device support. So let's say you had a, a few files you wanted to upload and have it look directly at it. It would just look at the the, the files that you uploaded on the, dev the device rather than all on the cloud. So. Perfect. And so also there is a new keyboard for the X devices. Uh, how is it different from uh, the other versions? Yeah, so uh, when you go up from this, the Omnibook 7 to the X, you get a latticeless keyboard now. So personally, I think it looks much nicer. Um, the keycaps are really big and beautiful. Um, and it's a bit of a step up when you go from the 7 to the X and getting that nice keyboard, so. Here uh, in this part of the showcase, uh, you have uh, different scenarios on how to integrate technology, HP technology, in different kinds of work environments. Uh, can you briefly go through them and then we'll dive in into specific scenarios? Okay, yeah. So Poly is a, an acquisition by HP about two, three years ago, and it's really designed to boost HP's collaboration capabilities. So, you know, over on the very far side over there, we've got the large meeting rooms, the audio, the visuals, the cameras, but here we've got the more personal technology. So we've got a good example here of a knowledge worker. We have an executive desk over there, we have hot desk working, and we've got a home worker as well. So all of those are designed to showcase the very individual components of our collaboration system because we recognize that, that the collaboration isn't just going into work anymore and coming home, it's now wherever you go, we need to have a collaboration solution that makes it easy for you and that really focuses on your voice coming across on calls. And technology helps. I mean, it, in the different scenarios, the advancement in technology do help. Uh, for example, here we have um, a new kind of keyboard that charges in different ways. We have a, a headset that is uh, designed to isolate you from uh, the outside world. We have a Uh, we have a camera. Can you pinpoint uh, a couple of uh, advancements uh, in, in, in each product to show how um, as much as you have a vision, then you need the technology yeah. to actually implement it? 
So technology is there to help you. It's not there to, to get in the way. So the solutions that we're showing here are convenient for you. They make your work easy. They remove all of that friction that stops you from being productive. So a good example is our newly released keyboard and mouse combination here. This is based on the supercapacitor technology. Um, really good focus on sustainability here. We're, we're not sending batteries to landfills, okay? This is a different technology that has a very long lifespan, but it's also super convenient. So if I plug it into charge, I walk to get myself a coffee, I come back in two minutes, it is fully charged, ready for a month's usage. It's exceptionally easy to use. I can pair it to my, my, um, my computer, I can compare it to my tablet, multiple devices, and it's easy to switch between those devices. Same for the headset. I can use the headset on my tablet, my phone, my computer. Again, nice and easy, no friction to collaborate in any way that suits you. So can you please describe the scenario you're presenting here and um, how this HP workstation actually enables uh, to work for a developer on AI uh, locally. Yeah, absolutely. So a lot of people are trying to take advantage of large language models for different use cases. The use case that we're showing here is how do I train a large language model on my own data to deliver a customer outcome? In this case, teaching a user how to use the software that we've developed. And so we're doing all that locally with our Z8 workstation. Um, our Z8 has up the capacity to support up to four NVIDIA 6000 ADA GPUs, which is pretty powerful, can support a lot of large language models locally. We have our AI Studio solution, which is our development platform. Um, all the things you need, your model, your data, um, your compute works together to fine tune that model on your specific information. Um, and then we have our uh, evaluation software, which enables you to evaluate the performance of that model, understanding in situations where the model may be hallucinating, so giving you the wrong answer, um, potentially uh, having issues with latency, so how, how well or poorly it performs in terms of time, that may or may not be important to you. Um, also identifying potentially personal identifiable information and flagging that, uh, which is really important. Ultimately getting into your outcome, which is a fully trained fine-tuned model, where you can ask questions um, on your documentation and it'll answer correctly. And the AI Studio is developed by HP. It is developed by HP. And it's uh, conceived to work uh, uh, with your uh, ex um, workstations yes. to fully exploit uh, it, the potential for AI. Can you show us a little bit how it is structured and how easy actually it is for, for a developer to use it? Absolutely. So AI Studio, um, it works on workstations, uh, but it's actually device agnostic. So um, as long as you're running Windows or Linux today, uh, we support it. Um, it's really simple. So to start with, um, it's all project based. So you can go inside of a project and I have a lot of projects running, but um, you know, in this way you can collaborate with other developers as well. Um, for this specific chatbot uh, I've developed, um, all of our projects are based on container technology. So the container is just like a, a wrapping around your project that all you can put all your tools and um, data sets and uh, libraries in, in one place. Um, and we're actually recreating that container anytime someone uses it. So that increases portability. It means that I can be developing on this project uh, on this machine. Um, my collaborator can start and spin up and run it on his machine. Um, I can share that really easily and effectively across devices. And really all to do to create the container is to press play. Um, and once that container is created, after a few seconds, um, you have access to your notebook and libraries and everything you need to get going. So today here at HP Amplify, it, uh, you have launched several new commercial PCs, and in particular the new HP EliteBook 8G. Can you tell us a little bit about it, and especially uh, how it is important that it's incorporating AI capability inside of it? Yeah, absolutely, and thanks for asking too. So we're very excited about what we've introduced with the redesign of our 8 series uh, notebooks for G1, uh, both having Intel and AMD next-gen AI processors integrated in. Some of the cool, I'd say, design features are larger trackpads, so easier navigation. Uh, the new Glacier Silver color kind of resists uh, fingerprints and smudges, super premium design. Um, it's also the keyboard 
part itself is much more serviceable, uh, so it's easier to pop off, replace, as well as the battery, right? It's a, a more toolless this year, so replacing that, having extended life cycle built into the product itself, is just making it, you know, longer for not only sustainability purposes, but because you're buying a next-gen AI PC, you're already future-proofing yourself uh, with the hardware you're purchasing today. Uh, some of the other key highlights that are going into the 8 Series this year is an optional RJ45 port. We also now have uh, USB-Cs on both sides, so two on this side, one on the other side. So if you're using our docking capabilities, you can use either or, you don't have to pick which side. So uh, user-friendly in that space too. And then I know on the flip, uh, uh, the, X, uh, the flip design that we have, there's a new pen, uh, uh, garage pen that we've introduced into the design. I think it's on this one, yeah. Cool. Yeah, so, so losing the pen, uh, if it's away from the PC around 20 meters or so, you'll get a pen loss alert. Uh, so you can stick that back into the garage and it'll auto charge for you as well. And in terms of AI capabilities, regardless of the processor, it has enough tops to run uh, AI workloads offline and there is several use case scenarios you're presenting, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah one of them, yeah, especially when you start getting into next generation AI PCs that are 40 plus tops like um, You'll see some of the new things we release with HP AI Companion that'll run local AI. So let's say you load up a lot of documents onto HP AI Companion. It's gonna use that full capability of the NPU that we've introduced with the next-gen AI Silicon and be able to run that locally. So instead of on-cloud where you're waiting for a response, you get it more instantly with on-device uh, cloud uh, interaction.